Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you real short and sweet how to upgrade your EVU EGLP7 gaming laptop. Specifically installing a new M.2 drive. You need a tiny Phillips screwdriver and you've got 10 screws on the back. I'm pointing them out here with this beautiful video illustration. You're going to pull those out and try not to lose them. I'm just going to demonstrate one here because nobody wants to see me take 10 screws out. Some of them have a little bit of thread locker on them, so they might take a little bit to break loose. There they are. Put them somewhere safe so you don't lose them, so you can reassemble your EVU gaming laptop when this is over. It's a pretty simple upgrade. Some of them get stuck in there. Don't be afraid to flip it upside down once they're loose and let them come out. There's one that got stuck. Look at that. That's a technique there. Teaching you that technique. How to get those screws out. This one is going to be voiding your warranty. It's a warranty seal. You just push through it with the screwdriver. It is just another Phillips screw underneath. Sometimes the sticker will get stuck on it. Now, we need to pry apart the shell of the laptop. You can use an old credit card, a plastic pry tool, or your fingernails. Just don't handle it like an ape. Just go nice and easy so you don't break anything because you do need to put it back on when we're done. And when you go to put it back on, you can line it up using those little plugs for like the USB and the HDMI as a reference point. So real easy. Just pry all around. Take your time. You don't want to break it. You can see the seam is right above the USB plugs there. Once you've done that, one thing I'm going to do here today is also clean it out with compressed air because I own pets and pet hair gets everywhere. So I'll point out a few points that you can do that. There's fan one there. There's a buildup of hair, so just to give you an idea of where to look. There's fan two. One of these is for the CPU. One is for the graphics card. Over here by the battery, for some reason, some hair got stuck in there. So personally, I'm going to take this outside to my air compressor. Uh, that's a spot for another SATA drive, and that's a spot right up here for your additional M.2 drive. And there's the factory one right below it. So that's where we're going to be working today. Compressed air, I'm just going to kind of point out where you can blow it. Now, the thing with these little fans right here, blow it from a distance. Don't make that fan go 3,000 miles an hour because it'll burn out those bearings. So you just got to be kind of careful, especially if you're using an air compressor. With this little canned air, it probably won't hurt it, but it's just something to think about. So if you see, if you notice here, I'm kind of just waving it around. I'm not going to go full on right down in the hole there. I'm just going to blow all this stuff out, make sure airflow is nice and good underneath there. Those fans actually suck air in and blow it out the back. So to give you an idea, you just make sure those are nice and cleaned out. The exhaust ports are on the back there. There's a little heat sink, so you want to blow those out too. Just give it a little TLC. It's not a bad idea to do this from time to time. So these two fans, uh, there's your M2 drive there. That's where you put your new SATA drive, so it's got a lot of upgrade space. There's your battery. There's your other cooling fan. This whole unit here connected to the CPU is the heat sink. You could actually take that off and reapply thermal paste if you wanted, but I'm not doing that in this video. All right, so on to the M2 drive. First step, take out this screw. That's what holds it in place. Set that to the side get your new M2 drive upgrade and look at there's a little end and there's a long end. You're going to line those up and you're going to push them in gently like you would a stick of RAM. Once you have it seated properly you'll notice that the screw hole lines up with the area for a screw hole on the M2 drive. It's just a gentle push. No click or anything. So now we're going to mount it in place with that same screw we just took out. Now, we're going to put the shell back on. I always recommend doing it diagonally across, sort of like you do a tire with the lug nuts, just to have an even distribution of force so that shell clicks down nicely. You boot up, you mash delete a whole bunch to get the BIOS. Let's take a look. All right, you're going to scroll over one to the right to advanced. Let's look down and see if it recognizes the drive. Yes, it does. We've got our new drive. It's 
one terabyte, and our old factory drive, 500 gig. 